Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 8 Pro and I'm gonna show you a few tricks you can use on this watch. First a trick I want to show you or feature is the voice commands, which is the, I believe, new feature on Garmin watches. And you can basically press and hold the start button, at least on this watch, to open the voice commands and it will start listening to you. Uh, if you're not sure what command it will uh, recognize, you can tap on this button right here, the, the question mark button, and it will open the list of commands you can use. And for example, we can use uh, set brightness to 80%. didn't work. Set brightness to 80. As you can see, it changed the brightness. Let's try something else. Set brightness to 100. It, it changed. You can also enable do not disturb mode. Do stuff like that and if anything uh, else that is on that list and you can even open the list through the browser when you scan the QR code right there. Another thing I want to show you is the uh, recent app uh, menu. Basically when you press and hold the lower button on this watch it will open the recent apps menu and here you have the list of applications that were open previously on your watch and you can go back to them quite quickly by simply tapping on it as you can see and we can also come on open different apps like watch face and stuff like that. So if you want to go back to some app you were in previously and um, uh, it was like not too long ago, you can simply open the recent app menu and simply find it right here on the list and tap on it to open it. And another thing I want to show you is the button shortcuts. So first we need to open the menu by pressing and holding the menu button or the app menu button, then tap on watch settings, scroll down, find the system, then tap on shortcuts, and here we have the list of shortcuts we can use. As you can see, we have some combinations like start plus up, so this button and this button, uh, back plus light, so this button and this button. So find the combination you, you want to use, for example, back plus light, and then you can tap on it and it will open the list of functions. And here you can find the function you want to use. For example, let's say I want to enable do not disturb mode by pressing the back and light buttons. Okay, and now we need to go back to the home screen because the shortcuts only work on the home screen and then we can press and hold the combination we like. It will turn off and turn on do not disturb mode. So I find it a bit useful uh, because you don't need to go through the menus. You can just do something by just pressing and holding two uh, buttons. Okay, and I believe that's about all, so thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.